Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the next video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And this video is about how to prepare for a snare. Looping secrets exposed. Brothers and sisters, get the understanding that very soon the enemy wants to take you into this snare into this loop that you see in this picture that will never end a time loop that will never stop that will never come to the six seal that will never come to Armageddon so that the Millennium Kimlin will not start but that Satan can rule here as God here on earth forever and ever that's his intention to take you into that snare but we have talked about it yesterday as is written in the scripture, God will cut the time short. This snare will spring. It will. It will come to pass. And the world will stand in perplexity. So how do we prepare for a snare now? We as a harvesting bride know that God will also transport us back in time if the snare will spring and the <coughs> And, the, and Satan will take the world back into time we have to follow because the world and the sleeping churches is our harvest. So we have to follow and we will. God will open it up. I have made a video about the vision the Lord has shown me some, some times back and, and you can watch it today is our first video. So now how do we prepare for a snare? <coughs> what is the first thing you have to understand? The first thing is you have to understand that you're going back into time, but it will never be the same as it was before. Give you an example. Let's take the time frame from 2014 to 2021, right? So we are now at the end of this time frame and something will happen that will catapult us back into time and it will take us where? To 2014. But this 2014 will not be the same that was there in the past because the past is finished and you cannot change it again so it will not be the same it could be similar but it will not be the same it will be what what we call it an alternative an alternative reality and this alternative reality brothers and sisters this alternative reality will be different from the past that you have experienced so i'll give you an example when you Maybe in 2014 you were sick. Now you cannot be sick in that way because it must be a different reality. So it could be that now you are healthy, now you are what? Now you are jumping like a calf on the meadow. Whatever the case is, it's different. So that's the first thing you have to understand. It's not the same past. It could be similar, but different. First thing. Second thing. We have no idea what will happen with the things that you have now that you have now here in this world that you have now at the present time of 2021 when you'll be getting looped back into 2014 so you cannot be sure that you have your computer that you have all the stuff that you have now it could be different so what I advise is Memorize. Memorize as much as possible. For example, you have a group together like we have a Triple Grace now, the 88 group and everything else we have together. Memorize the email addresses. Put them on a paper, keep them on the body, but still memorize them. So that when you have shifted, when you be relocated, that you then can try to contact the people to see if they also are there and then build that group again. That will, that will again give a great blow to Satan's idea because he wanted to get rid of you but now you are back again with him and grouped again in the same way. So his idea of, of taking you out of the picture will fall into disaster already because the Lord will have also looped you, will have also taken you there, and you are coming together in the same strong form that we are now, ready to bring in the harvest for 
the Father and ready to prepare the way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Only then not in 2021, but in 2014. So memorize as much as you can. Because your head will not be taken off. You have it. Your mind, you will have it. And you will have an understanding. And this, what you have experienced now, that will also not be taken away from you. You yourself will not become a, a blank canvas. Only the, the, the time frame where you enter in will most likely be a different way. It will not be the past, that is 100% sure, but it could be similar. But you will have all the experience that you have now from 2021. Even if you look back, it's not that everything will be deleted from your memory, no. So memorize as much as you can. Then whatever you really need and want to carry with you, put it on your body. Even keep it together with you when you are sleeping, because it can happen in the night. Most likely it will happen in the night, this looping. So whatever the case is, keep it as close as possible for the next one month, two months, keep it as close as possible. So, brothers and sisters, but you also need to prepare mentally. You should not stand in perplexity when this happens. You should not stand in awe. You know, you, 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 you have the understanding God is opening the truth to you, the revelation to you right now, that something like this will happen. So you will have the answers that your neighbors, that the people are seeking. They are standing in perplexity at this time. What happened? Why are we now in 2014? What happened? I thought we were in 2021. You have the answers. That is your first entrance to bring in a harvest, to explain to the people what happened. First thing what you do after that loop, you contact the other warriors to bring that group again. If you have your own warrior group, contact them, bring them again together, seek them all out, that we will build up again the strong force of the Lord, that nobody will get lost. Then, go out, talk to your neighbors, whatever, you have the answers. Start, introduce the kingdom of heaven. The harvest will begin immediately after the looping. Our ministries will start immediately after that looping. At that time also, the children would have disappeared. How perfect would it be through a time loop? The children just remain in 2021, but the people are taken to 2014. Though so the children have vanished. Everyone, even the ones in the womb, have vanished. They're not pregnant anymore. So people have an understanding, but I was pregnant. Am I getting crazy now? No, you have the explanation what happened. And you step forward to be the rock in the storm and the beacon of light in the darkness and chaos and confusion that the world is gripping them. Oh, brothers and sisters, great times will come up for us. Our harvest will begin, begin with a bang. Yes, of course, it will be a great event that is coming. That was I telling you in the prophetic word for, 2000, for March 2021. This is a time when you need to prepare. So you need to prepare physically with what you want to carry, memorize as much as you can, and prepare mentally for the time. Get ready to step into the bridge to prepare. Don't get, say, oh, now I have gone back 2014. No, this is your opportunity. This is your destiny. This is your purpose here on earth, and you will fulfill it. And at the end of that next seven year period, when we reach 2021 again, then we will see Mount Zion, we see the rapture into paradise. That is then the time. Brothers and sisters, it is so amazing how everything is coming together now. How all the understanding, all the prophetic words, everything is lining up now into unity. Great understanding. All visions are coming true. For me, I have books over books about visions and dreams that the Lord has sent me. And they are all coming now together. It would not have been possible if we are not looping. Because I have so many visions and things that I think were already in the past, but they were not fulfilled. But now they can be fulfilled if this comes to pass. So, brothers and sisters, I believe strongly that it will happen and you need to prepare. Do not worry. 
Do not worry about the things in the world. Do not worry that your car is gone, that every, maybe you have to start afresh. Do not worry about all these things. Do not be related to the world. Stand outside of the world, Babylon and the sleeping churches. Do not worry about anything. What you lose, you will gain a hundredfold. Don't worry about that. So do not be Lord's wife and look back when the time comes and do not come from the rooftops and go for your things. You will not be able to reach there. You might end up in a, in a great problem area when you do that. Just let it happen. When you feel it is happening, something is starting, let it happen. Stand with the Lord and let it happen. Do not return to your worldly items, do not do anything, the Lord is coming for you. As it is written in the scripture, the people on the rooftop do not go back into your houses for your items, forget about it. They will not be carried over. What you have to be, be, be with you, the Lord will provide that you will, will be carried over. And everything else, forget about it. Forget about the world, about your property, about anything. Stay with the Lord, he will take you to that place that is required and in a fashion that is necessary for the harvest to go forward. Do not be afraid of anything. Leave all, give your whole life, your whole soul, your mind and everything over to the Lord and He will take you to the right place. And you will be able to connect again, memorize, have the things, get mentally prepared for it. It's coming now. But let it happen. Do not fight it. Do not try to run away from it. You cannot escape these things. Only the ones who are worthy to escape it, the ones that are the bright and go with the children will not be affected. And the children, the small ones, the innocent ones, the rest will go. And for us, we have volunteered. We are the chosen few that will go also back in time, a relocation. Because we need to be close to the harvest. How will you bring in a harvest if the harvest is gone, if the field is gone? You will bring in the harvest because you will follow them. God will make sure that you do not lose contact to the harvest. And then we start the seven years. After that loop, we start the seven years. That will bring forth the Antichrist. That will bring forth uh, the, the persecution of the Christians. That will bring forth the acts of the refuge. That will bring forth everything. You have all the understanding right now. All what is missing is now the starting point. Now it's a, the, the, the signal of God to say the race is on, poof, the race is on. And then it begins. And that is all this time. Everything will be in the twinkling of an eye. Boop, and you will be there. Children gone. Part of the bride gone. You s seek your people, your groups together again. You stand against the enemy. You be the banner and the standard that the Lord is raising against the evil flood. Even in 2014, or whatever year it will be. I don't want to fix myself on 2014, but it's a good marker. It could be. So, brothers and sisters, see what power, what is coming, what is, what is facing the earth. How will the earth react on something like that? But you are prepared. Not only physically, mentally, and you have memorized everything what you need to carry over. Then you are well prepared and the loop will not take anything from you or will harm you in any way. But after that loop, you will gather together again and you will be the same strong harvesting forces, the same strong remnant army of kings and priests as you were now. And Satan will see, oh, I didn't manage to get rid of them. Now they're still here with me. And so he will try it again after seven years to loop again and then it will be the trumpet tribulation period and then an end will come. Now the children and a few of the brides will be rescued from the loop. Then seven years later we, all of us who are the harvesting bride was brought in the harvest and the ones who are beheaded, the multitude close and white, will be taken out of the next snare that will be then the rapture into paradise and then at the end of the next seven years will be Armageddon and then Satan will be stopped with his snare and Millennium Kingdom will start. All is pent out, 
Everything is in, the, in God's plan for the end times and all was already created even before the world and the earth was established. The snare is coming. Are you prepared? Are you physically prepared? Mentally prepared? Are you ready to stand for God at that new time? Are you ready to bring forth the answers that the people are seeking? Memorize the information you need, email addresses, especially email addresses. The internet will be there, it was there in 2014, right? And you had most likely also a computer, so, and if not, then you will have one. And then you will contact the people again, and you will come again together as a mighty force of the kingdom of heaven. Just memorize. You never know if you put it on the paper, if that will go. If it disappears, then you say, oh, what was the email address of, the, of my friend? I can't remember. Memorize it. Get them together. What then? A few numbers from there. These people also have memorized. You get more numbers and then you connect and connect and then you come again in great force and unity. This is a time, brothers and sisters, when we need to understand how to prepare. These are a few of the looping secrets exposed today so that you have an understanding. Your brain, your mind will loop with you because your head will not be chopped off during that loop. So, memorize as much as possible. Remember what you have done now. Remember, put it all together in your head, plus the email addresses, and then come back together again. And mentally prepare that you will be then in the spotlight. And physically prepare. Don't carry anything in excess. Just leave it to God to prepare for you on the other side. As he has shown me in that vision I brought for you today. A perfect place. He will bring you into a perfect place, into a large place, as it is written in Psalm 18. Read Psalm 18 and see that this is a rescue of the Lord from the enemy because he was too strong. We would be killed now, but he will take us there and we will fulfill our destiny and duty and purpose here on earth as a chosen few, as a harvesting bride, as the ones that will bring in the harvest for the for the Lord, that are worthy to to stand at the base of Mount Zion and be raptured into paradise. I hope this helped you. If you have questions, send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Use comments, just engage, be part of it. So let us use the last days, even if it's maybe on the weekend, let us use the last days to encourage one another and to give tips what we can do, how we can loop in the best way, and so that we can find us again afterwards. I know, I understand that you will lose many things. And me, I also know all this what I have prepared. Most likely, all the videos that I have made will get lost. And there's no way how I can carry them over. But maybe not, maybe God will preserve them. Otherwise, I will start again with all of you. Because I love you all, brothers and sisters. And we will find a way to defeat Satan together with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranat.